Infrastructure development is key to the growth of any economy and it's a significant index for measuring performance. Physical infrastructure such as road does not only make for ease of connecting places, it is also a veritable tool for rapid urbanization, industrialization as businesses are able to move their goods and services to the end users with ease. These are informed measures taken by the Dakpo Abiodun's administration in building network of roads across the state, including completing those started by his predecessors. We've done these roads across the state. We have a minimum of one or two roads in every local government. So, all our 20 local governments today have one or two roads that either have been constructed or are ongoing. One thing I know is if His Excellency can get additional revenue, it will go on, you know, it will go on infrastructure project. Because every, let's say from every 100 naira coming into the state, about 70% of it is being used for, you know, for capital project is being used for infrastructure because that's the economic engine, what's drive the growth of the state. So to me, uh, if you are a truck driver going from A to B, going to deliver something, he has to pass on the road. If the road is good, it takes him 10 minutes instead of an hour. Less cost on maintenance, more time with his family. So um, he has more money at disposal to spend on other things. So you know, the quality of the infrastructure have a major impact on the economy of the state. To make this a reality within the Ogun Central Senatorial District, which consists predominantly of the Egbas spread across six local government areas, more intrastate roads are either completed or are at various stages of completion. These projects, which were selected by the people for construction, appear to have a remarkable impact on communities within which they are situated and beyond. Uh, before the arrival of uh, this administration, uh, the roads the roads were in uh, were not smooth, were not all that smooth. But uh, when this admission came in, they had the, the feelings of the people and they started work on where the past administration left. Uh, for example, we have a study now. This uh, uh, from NPC to Kuta Road was done by the government, but not completed. But when he came, the first thing he did was that he uh, completed the road, and it was put horrible for every motorist uh, to pass. And uh, he therefore said that when this world is correct and it's good for the people, now what about the linking road uh, that link uh, Ogu Central with Ogu East? And that is a uh, Ching Road. And so he constructed the road, he reconstructed the road. And the road today is very vulnerable. Under 20, 25 minutes from uh, Shagabu Station, you get to Abekuta. It's very, very simple. In February 2020, the Dakwa Biodun administration took a bold step to remedy an almost embarrassing situation caused by the state of the 42km Shagamu Abelkuta Expressway, which he met in a deplorable state. With men and machine on the site, working almost round the clock, Progress was expedited and the road users began to experience reprieve. I was very happy. But when be, be before, it's not okay. Sometimes motor is going now, it's all past another side of the for the other way. So now, where be now, we are very happy about our government. Okay. <laughs> 
It's a landmark achievement for the present administration, being a reference point to another promise expressly delivered. The unveiling in January 2022 attracted dignitaries from all over the Federation, including the number one citizen of the country, President Muhammad Udwari GCFR, who was on hand to commission the project. All those who attended described the governor in glowing terms. Once again, something good is happening in Ogo State. Uh, we are particularly happy and excited, and we are hoping that this will be a successful visit, and it's going to be a great turnaround for the fortunes of our dear states. It is unprecedented in the history of Ogo State, you know, for a governor like that to have, you know, an inroad into infrastructure development in Ogun State. Even though, like us, we are for opposition, but we are going to give him a pass back, you know, for the construction. Look at the, the Agrocargo Airport, the housing project, it has never been so easy, it has never been so easy in Ogun State, you know, for someone to, call, you know, to consult over 1,000 housing units, you know, for the use of the populace, and that even a very cheaper rate, whereby you go to Monday Bank, you know, deposit like 500,000, and the key is yours, and you'll not be paying the rest instrumentally for 12, 13, 15 years, you know, depending on your pocket. Even the chairman of the State Council of Abbas, the Akaribo and paramount ruler of Remo Land, His Royal Majesty Oba Babatunde Ajayi, paid the governor a glowy tribute. To our son, who I believe all the cabinets who are aligned with me, this is the man that is just. It is the man that is fair. It is the man that is equitable. I am going to say that development in Ogu State is unprecedented. And we've done it in such a way that Ogu State belongs to all citizens of Ogu State. Last time I visited Ogu State, we ran an electionary in the picture of the 2019. Elections. If the last minute and now, so much has changed. Then, I thank you. I thank you. I so much about this exercise I thank you. I and you got a good governor. I'm particularly impressed by the quality and standard of your work projects. And the very way you have been growing resources to reconstruct and rehabilitate them. It is significant to know that the two road projects being commissioned today are federal roads. This is an example of constructive engagement, cooperation and collaboration between the state and federal government. 7.8 km Fajol Road is one of the longest interstate routes constructed so far under the Prince Dagboa Buildings Administration. The project connects several communities and has opened up the area to massive growth and economic progress. Until recently, this road was completely impossible and business was a write-off. The tale is now different. I've lived here since 1980 and it's been a terrible experience with the road littered with potholes and ditches. We members of the community tried our best to fix the road, 
but it was to no avail. A reason we were extremely excited when the governor came on board. Now our joy has remained boundless since this road was completed. May God bless him. We will always be grateful to him. Economically, it has improved the life of the residents so much. If you say going to mechanic, it might just be going to do servicing. But the situation of this road was damaging our car. That is, you can you if you drive here in before you drive out, either your steering rail will break, which is a major problem. Either your hassle will cut. So we were parking our vehicle outside the street that we are living. So you park your vehicle somewhere and manage to use your leg to your house. That was the situation. So now, in fact, the situation is totally different. Successive government, they have been trying their best. But I must say without mixing words that uh, though this particular road which we are on may have been on the drawing board for a long time, but it's a really a record for the uh, incumbent government for having done this within a very short time. And uh, I must tell you that this road is uh, a very, very useful road and a, a, a sort of relief to the entire community, the entire Abe Okuta, not even just uh, the community living here, because when you are going to Ibado, and uh, there is always this uh, serious go slow. But you see, with this uh, hinterland road, Going through this place, you just uh, cut off some of the uh, areas that I has been creating a uh, bottleneck. And then join your, your way again back to Ibadan Road. the excitement, the appreciation from the communities that live here. Nothing can be more gratifying. I am so thankful to the Almighty God that not only has He given us the wisdom to be participatory, but has given us the grace to also do this road. Um, I'm thankful for all the people that have suggested that we should do this road because I can see that they are very appreciative. And I must say that what you've seen today it's just um, probably nothing near the tip of the iceberg. On the 16th of June 2021, barely two years into the Dakboa Buildings Administration, the 4.5 km Elite Lantoro Road, which has totally transformed commuting around the Diaba Access, was commissioned. <laughs> this park was unveiled. In collaboration of the commissioning of OK Lantoro Elite Road. The event attracted people from all walks of life, considering its importance.
Notable personalities who graced the occasion, including the Alaki and Paramount ruler of Igba land, Oba Adedo Tungbadibo III, applauded the governor for his leadership style. You have proved that you are not a governor that gives by political statement. But when you, when you said you would complete all projects, some people thought you were just saying that for political reasons. But you have proved that you are a man of your words. Please keep it up. And we only gone a short way in the period that you are going to spend as government. And we have already achieved so much. We are anxious that a lot more will come. And that you will take the like, open state to the next level in all parts of the state by the grace of God. Once again, I say, God bless you and thank you very much. In his remark, Prince Dafabiodun reiterated his administration's commitment to honoring his electoral campaign promises and running a participatory government. As a promise keeping administration, we have continued to keep the people at the center of everything we do. We will continue to be deliberate and work to deliver on all projects that will directly impact the lives and livelihood of our people as we have promised in our social contract with you. This project, the Okelan Toro Elite Diaba Road, will serve as an, ex an effective alternative and bypass to those who are coming from either Lantoro to Abantoko or Ashero and going to Idiaba or Ajebo Road. They will not need to go through the Yanomotuari Junction. This will not only serve the purposes of reducing travel time and resolving the traffic gridlock. It will also enhance the quality of life. Like Abiyasi said, he had seen stop coming to the elite club celebrations because of how bad this road was. That is now history. And like the youth leader said, he has now eased the ability of doing business. The markets here are now selling, the barbers are selling. That is the multiplier effect that comes into place when infrastructure. It was one project that seems not to have been considered for construction by previous administrations despite the strategic role it could play even in traffic management. Surely when uh, they were about to start, there was some sort of uh, sensitization because uh, we had the information that government is going to intervene on this road. But we were full of prayers for government not to change her mind. Fortunately, it happened and uh, they did the construction. We had to even interface with the contractor, encouraging him to stay on, supporting him. Then we were discussing all this so that we want to be sure they don't abandon it. Fortunately, they did it up to uh, from that junction to one big roundabout out of Biola way there. And uh, what, what I, as the chairman, I told them, well, if there will, there will be need for walkway because of the size of the road. They said yes. They thought of it too, and government had told them that they should cover the uh, drain to serve as walkway. In all honesty, after the completion, no, it was jubilation. The road is okay now. It was very, very bad before, extremely bad before, but now it's okay. It's motorable, and people are enjoying it. That's all. Before, we are, we are using about maybe from Elite Junction to Kelantoro Junction, we can use up to 15 minutes because of the road. But now, before, uh, by five, five minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> It was a dream come true for the residents, including the widow of the first civilian deputy governor of the state, Chief Samuel Shuluade of Blessed Memory. I remember an experience when we went to visit a bereaved neighbor 
Driving on the road was so bad that by the time I returned, I had terrible pain all over my body. I had to even go for checkup. I'm very, 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 very grateful. But today, the story is different. The government of Dakwa Biodun is doing well. We say a big thank you to him. God will continue to bless him. The three kilometer Pansheke Adigbe Road has become Motri's delight since His Excellency Prince Dakbo Abiodun took over the project. Though it was started by previous administration, it has since been completed and commissioned for use. Uh, before, before, this road is not good. If you take back from Bansiaga to this side, or machine, you can spend more than two or three hours because it's galloping. But now, it's, it's good now because they've been on two sides. It's motorable. And there's no problem for anybody, go and come, is free. Before now, it was terrible. Really, really terrible. We, the commercial, like this, some of us even left the business. Because there's no day you will work that will not do something on your face. Also set for completion is the 5.7 kilometer Kemta Shomorin Road in Odeda local government area of the state. Since construction started, life has taken a turn for the better for the people in the locality. This uh, stretch of road network was terribly bad before. In fact, even residents that are here they left their homes because one, security, when you are dragging your car or your, your car got stuck at a certain spot, you cannot tell who could come and attack you. So uh, people, you know, uh, they, 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 they fear passing through this road and it's a very important uh, connection road between uh, FMC, OGTV, um, uh, Idiaba, you know, to Yanamotuari, to Ilugun, Ilugun to uh, 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 Shomori, Shomori to Obantoko, connecting uh, Oyo State through Ibadan and some other areas like that. So uh, the road was terrible until uh, the government decided to uh, do something. This is your administration. You are the ones that are responsible for the success that allowed us to assume office. The governor, during one of his inspection tour, encouraged the people to own and protect the project, which is nearing completion. This road is about 5.9, almost 6 kilometers long. Um, and it will soon be completed with all the necessary appurtenances. As you can see, it has you know, beautiful drainages. So you are getting a first-class road because you are first-class people. Uh, I want to thank you for the cooperation you've given my entire team. Because without that cooperation, uh, we will not enjoy the level of completion that we are seeing today. Be rest assured that we will continue to live up to all our promise to you. In the space of three years, the government of Prince Dakwa Abiodun MFR has demonstrated a resolve to take Ogun State to an enviable position, regardless of the challenges. 
and has shown the will not to develop one section at the expense of another. This is a mark of true leadership. The journey continues.